What's going on guys? So if you have ghost cabinets, this video is for you. Uh, actually, all joking aside, if you have cabinets that open up while you're towing or open up whenever you put your slides out or you start moving things around, you should watch this video because this is a very, very quick, simple and easy upgrade that almost anybody can do that can actually give your RV kind of a feel and an appearance of a much more expensive RV. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so I did a video when we first got our 2021 Coachman Brookstone fifth wheel. This is the collaboration unit, the one that I worked with Coachman to help design. We did a lot of really cool design innovations on this. But at the same time, there were some things that are still considered cost-saving measures that Coachman does to even this luxury RV. Now, when I say luxury, from a Coachman perspective, the Brookstone is their luxury fifth wheel. I'm not trying to compare this against a Lux or a DRV or a Riverstone or even some red woods. I'm trying to basically explain that this RV is a luxury RV in the sense that it has a lot of really nice luxury amenities. It's got a lot of room, a wide body chassis, drop frame, a lot of things that you would tend to see on higher end RVs. But that doesn't mean that there aren't areas that they try to shave some cost or some areas that things may have just been how they've always done it and they just didn't feel like changing. Let me give you an example. So on this drawer right here, the cabinet stops are your traditional kind of spring-loaded cabinet stops. Basically, you have this kind of diamond-shaped plug right here, which presses into this spring clip and it holds it in place. The problem is, is that they're just not that effective at holding cabinet doors shut, especially heavier cabinet doors. So anytime this slide comes out and I'm not perfectly level, this drawer wants to open itself up a little bit. And it's latched right now, so it's not just going to quickly pull, but almost any time that this slide is unlevel, even briefly, it wants to pop that drawer open. Now we have a lot of drawers that still utilize this type of stop or this type of catch, but I've replaced a lot of them already in a previous video. Basically, a lot of the cabinet doors, I put these magnetic style holds. And what you may start noticing with a lot of your, I'm going to say kind of entry luxury brands, your alliances, your Jayco's, you know, your grand designs, you're starting to see most of them move to a magnetic style latch. So when I say this is something you typically see in a luxury style RV, it is, right? You are going to usually see these in RVs that are going to run between about 80 to about 150 plus thousand dollars. And that's simply because it's considered to be a more premium feature versus the plug style holds that you typically see on RVs. Like even the drawer right here, you can see that it uses that plug style. I didn't put a magnetic one there. And I kind of was sporadic in how I used them. I bought about 10 of them and I placed them throughout the kitchen in areas that I kind of wanted to see them. But more importantly, in areas that if you're moving and a cabinet door can open, the last thing you would want to have happen is this cabinet door open behind this slide trim. I don't know this. And then all of a sudden I push this slide out. It grabs the cabinet door and tears it off. With something like this, if the door opens in transit, it's a lot more likely that it will catch the magnet and pull it back shut versus a plug that has to unload a spring or at least move a spring out of the way to pop into place. Again, that's why any of these cabinet doors that could interfere with the slide, I switched out to magnetic. And that may be a good enough justification for you as well. Perhaps you have an RV that has slide outs and you have doors that can open during transit and you may tear them off if you push your slide out and that door opens. So I've pretty much swapped everything out that needed to be swapped out. I did a few more, like here in the kitchen, I got magnetic holds there, right here. I got magnetic holds here. And these all work really well, but I wanted to add one more specifically to this drawer. Now, the ones that I purchased, I purchased off Amazon, and actually I think I got them in a box of 20, but for some reason I've misplaced that box. But I did not use them on this specific drawer for one other reason, that this drawer is a bit heavier than what those 20-pound rated magnets are designed for. So I purchased some 30-pound rated magnets. And these actually are black. These are probably what I should have bought originally for all the cabinets as well. But I'm going to install one of these on this drawer real quickly just to replace this. I might put two of them on, one on this side and one on that side, just to give it a little bit more holding force. But 
yeah, these are essentially what uh, what they're designed for. You just install the magnetic end right here. You put the plate on this side, and it holds it in place whenever uh, whenever the drawer is shut. So they should work a lot more effectively, especially two of them, versus this. And again, this is an upgrade that you can do to your RV for a very, very low price. I mean, probably, I'm going to say anywhere between $15 and $25 should outfit most RVs and every cabinet you have with a magnetic style hold, thus giving it the appearance of a slightly higher end unit because again your higher end units typically are going to have this type of magnetic hold and this shouldn't take very long at all super super quick upgrade and it's one that you can immediately appreciate when you're done and that's always something that's nice right you do an upgrade and you're instantly gratified with the fact that the thing's doing exactly what you want it to do okay so i actually bought 15 of these 16 and we're only probably going to install two of them. I might look around and find other areas. One of the limiting factors you may have when installing something like this is getting a drill squeezed into the area that you need to actually put the screws in. So that could limit you. And that was definitely a limiting factor when it came to some of the drawers to where you simply can't reach up there without being at an extreme angle with the drill bit. And they make little adapters. I've shown them on my channel before where you can get this really cool right angle adapter that you put into your drill and you can get into these really tight areas. But yeah, if you can pick some of these up, I'll put a link in the description to the specific ones that you have in front of you right here. And if you can pick these up really inexpensively, go out to your RV, probably knock out most of them in less than an hour, and you have a pretty significant upgrade to some of the hardware that are used to hold your drawers in place. Anyways, we're going to unpackage two of them. We're going to get that one taken off. We're going to replace it and see how it performs. But again, if you look at this right now, it takes very little pressure for this thing to open up. And I want to change that. I would rather that take a lot more pressure to open up simply because I feel better about it not opening up whenever we're driving. And even though there's not a heck of a lot of room for it to move, you can still see where the handle by moving has actually caused some discoloration to the drawer here because this does come out like this. Now the slide, when it comes in, is pretty much up to here. So there's not a lot of movement that can take place. But again, this is a cool upgrade. It's a low cost upgrade and it can definitely help the situation. So we're going to go ahead and throw a couple magnets onto this drawer, perhaps a few more in other areas that look like they might need them. Okay, so I have one installed and I've replaced the original hold that was here with this magnetic one. So I have the plate right here and I have the magnetic hold right here. And again, these are 30 pound magnets. And with this one here, it does a reasonably effective job. You can hear it latching of holding it, but it's about the same as it was before. So it's not quite as strong as I would like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another one in place right around, I could probably put it up top here, but I might put it, well, I'm gonna put it up top here only because I can't fit a drill down here without an adapter. And if I ever wanna take it off, remove it, do something else, I'd like to be able to do it with the tools I have on here. So I'm gonna put another one of these right here and another plate right here and see if that gives it a little bit more holding force. I think it will. Okay, so now I have both of them installed, one right here, one right here, and then I have two plates, one right there and one right here. And the thing you want to keep in mind is once you install two of them, you have to be very careful to ensure that they are equally spaced to the actual plates right here. What I mean by that is when I installed this one, it was spaced pretty much flush with the, uh, the styles here for this cabinet. This one right here was also pretty much flush, but that doesn't mean the drawer is gonna close perfectly flush. And what ends up happening is this side sticks out a little bit more than this side. So even though this one latched, this one was just about an eighth of an inch away from being able to connect with the magnet. So I moved this one out just a hair. So now you can actually hear them when they latch. And they are perfectly latched. You can see where the cabinet's a little further out on this side than it is on that side. Now it does not pull out very easily. So that is exactly what I wanted because this should ensure that even if the drawer comes out a little bit, I hit a big bump, the minute it comes back in or it closes, it's gonna latch and it's gonna continue to hold. So you could even put three of them, but again, you have to be very careful to ensure that the spacing of the magnets themselves is equal distance to these plates. If one is further back, then one magnet may not engage at all. And of course, it's pretty much useless at that point. So it may take a few different tries adjusting it to get it to work perfectly. But what I was able to do was take advantage of the fact that you have some pretty nice long holes to go through here. So you can put the hole in the center, put your screw in, and then you can have the ability to adjust this forward or backward as much as you need to, to be able to get it to properly align. So you have functioning drawer holds. 
works really well. That's exactly how I wanted it to work. Now it's going to hold that drawer in. I don't have to worry about ghost drawers coming out whenever uh, we're towing this down the road or putting slides in and out anymore. Again, super, super affordable upgrade, something you can easily add to most RVs. Most RVs that are under $50,000, even $60,000, $70,000 in some cases, are probably still going to have those standard type holds, like this up here. And, you know, it's easy enough to replace them with something like this, because all you're doing is screwing the magnet to one side, and then putting the plate on the other side, aligning them, and... You're good to go. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you like this little RV install, little trick that we're doing. Anyways, guys, I will put a link to these in the description of the video if this is something you may be interested in adding. Super low cost, super effective. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.